My name is Jane Chambers and I'm working on the Kaleidoscope project for the new Ellsbury Trust, uh, better known as the Creation Trust. Okay, what is your project about? Our project's about community learning. Um, it's based on the Ellsbury Estate. The Ellsbury Estate's about to go through a transformation. It's received a large amount of government funding to kickstart the demolition of the first blocks. We wanted to capture the Ellsbury people's story and Ellsbury the place before the blocks go down. And Aylesbury's got quite a negative image in, in some people's minds. It's an estate in Southwark. Um, it's going through regeneration. It's the one on Channel 4 that you see with the washing lines up. And people expect me to say things like, the kids aren't doing very well, there's a lot of violence, this, that and the other. The New Deal for Communities has been there for 10 years. Southwark has been working with us and third sector partners for a long time. And actually, uh, the kids are at GCSE national levels now. Uh, there are loads of events on the estate every week. There's loads of hours of learning with the Kaleidoscope project. Uh, but there are other clubs, there are other third sector organisations, and there are other community and tenants groups. It's a lively place, so we're trying to capture Ellsbury, the people, the images, uh, the images of the estate, the place, and we've got anything from uh, the Jubilee party photos to uh, people talking about when they first moved on, to people from um, Somalia, from different parts of the world talking about how they got there, what's happening to the family, where they're going. But what we're offering people is the opportunity to work in a variety of local places on the estate, to work on mosaics, to learn about knitting, crochet, film, uh, how to scan photos. And we're taking people on a learning journey and we're trying to make sure uh, by doing a kind of learner's drop-in that they actually use what they've learnt already to go on to either other activities or courses or to use the places they visited. And so we take people to the learning centre, we take people to uh, the museum, we show them how paints and colours are mixed in a local uh, mixing studio. They're working in um, a mosaics project in a studio in the middle of Burgess Park. They're working in the crypt doing IT for beginners or intermediate IT. They're picking up a, um, a camera and they're producing film. Uh, they're also producing photos of the estate and images. So they're also talking to each other about things that matter to them. And we've had tea parties, we're doing come dine with me, and people are able to use things in their lives that are important to them, or images about the estate that are important, or things about their family. They're able to talk about it through poetry. Uh, we're working with Michael Gross, who's a local poet. We're working with other creative art um, organizations like Campbell School of Art. What I think my message today is that community learning works and you, you make it work through using existing links. You don't do anything clever, you don't reinvent wheels, you use what's there and that's what we're doing. We've got great partners, we've got media citizens who are basically uh, setting up our website and about to update our website next week uh, to put um, our Christmas events on and details of our new courses. They're also uh, able to film and work with us on that. We've got other partner called Inspire, which is a local third sector organisation that delivers on the estate. And we and the Creation are sharing delivery of the actual projects with them. And we've got the London School, I'm uh, sorry, London College of Communications. The London College of Communications is working with us on the learning tools. They're also um, working on some of the group work with us. Uh, we do have cohesion on the estate and some of the work they're doing is bringing out some of those issues about people working together and showing how they can share uh, through talking about their own personal experiences. So we've got some nice clips and nice footage and our public artwork went through various changes. We tried to do a fly through the flat on the estate. Um, the flat fell through. Our public artwork is now a showcase. At, as the NDC wraps up, there'll be a showcase event.
but we're going to have a booklet with images of Aylesbury people, Aylesbury the place for local people and for the digitally excluded and for those who are having language problems still we've got a lot of people who have uh, ESOL issues uh, we've also got a DVD which is learners talking about their learning experiences going to visits with us to places that they don't normally use like the museum, the library, the learning centre, um, the crypt but also um, we're doing a digital approach to learning and trying to take some of our learners with us to prepare a microsite um, and the microsites being set up so there will be a constant digital archive uh, which can be replenished and built on but it's starting with the images that we're uh, the video images the still images the captions that we've got from our classes and from people's memories. So Aylesbury now, current 2009-2010, will be safe for the future. And there are some great stories about where people came from and where they want to go to. There will be churn, the estate's changing, but actually the people are in a great place.